So a question was asked, after a Google Meet, if I've recorded the Google Meet, how do I, let's say, if I'm recording and I'm waiting for some students to maybe jump in uh, near the end of the meeting, um, and so, but nobody jumps in at the end, and so there's a lot of space at the end of the meeting, so maybe two or three minutes of just a black screen or whatever, or just a video of you <laughs> looking at, at yourself, um, you can edit that, meaning you can remove the end of that video in two different ways. The first way is probably the easiest. Uh, you probably are familiar with Screencastify now, and you can actually find your video, uh, first of all, your Google Meet video in your Google Drive. So in Google Drive, when you record, even if it's your first time, it automatically creates a new folder called Meet Recordings, and it'll actually send it to you uh, via email to your at apps account. But you can always go back to your Meet Recordings, and then you're going to find which recording it is. What you can do is if you right click, actually, if you open it up, excuse me, if you open it up, you have the option of opening with Screencastify Video Editor. Okay, sorry about that. It's actually not the video I was going to show, but you can open up with Screencastify Editor, which then opens up this because we have the unlimited. Uh, Edit Unlimited. Uh, it has a lot of different features, but the biggest feature is you'd go to the end. Notice all this blank space. So I had my advisory this morning and I waited for some of the students to come in at the end. They did not show up. So I'm just going to click here and you'll see that when I click inside the little film strip, so to speak, I now have the opportunity to cut it okay and now you'll see that this part is yellow and just to double check I'm clicking inside here and then I can actually delete and now that is gone now there is one more step you do need to uh, export it so you're just going to click export as an mp4 or you can export it directly to Google Drive and now you are no longer you no longer have that additional time. The second way you can do it is if you find your video in your, if you've got it synced, obviously, hopefully you do. That's very important. I use that all the time or use this all the time. I use my desktop, not my Google Drive folder necessarily. So you're going to find that MP4 file and click on it and it should open up in quick time. And what you are going to do is then at the end, for example, let's say you find where you no longer need all this. So I've got a minute and a 38 seconds. I tested it out so that it was actually longer. I go up to edit. I'm going to click split clip. And now you'll see that there's this part and this part. If I click inside that little film strip again, I can click the delete button on my keyboard and it disappears and then I click done and now it has still a couple seconds not a big deal uh, but you have to make sure that you do save it so just make sure you click save um, and then change the file because normally it gives you that G B blah 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 uh, basically your URL that you used for your Google Meet anyway if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me at mcaresec at